Hello everyone and welcome to Homestead for a Living. I just got back from getting this load of hay, had a great transaction. Uh, it's a wonderful local farmer, neighbor down the road. They grow this without persistent herbicides. It's good clean hay that we can use on our garden and feed to our rabbits and, and our other animal systems. Um, and I, I brought up some turnip greens for her and we swapped out for that, that for some egg cartons. So altogether a great transaction and a, and a fun day. Um, but while we were there, we had a conversation. We were chatting about this year's fertilizer prices, and she said it had nearly doubled for her. And that really strikes close to home for a product that I still somewhat depend on to get my farm up and running, to know that her cost has doubled. And she has not passed those costs along to me. And so I, had, I did something that's kind of unusual in a business transaction, which is I told her that I will understand when she increases prices. Because I think that's really crucial right now to let your producers and the, and the people you depend on if you're farming or the people you buy food from, let them know you'll understand when prices increase because many farmers are already making the decision not to plant. It just doesn't look feasible or profitable for them. Um, so I've been sure to let her know that I will pay more when the time comes because I know that those costs are gonna happen to them. I mean, I want them to keep producing hay no matter what. I really want that to be happening close to me and in my community. And I'm certainly willing to pay the increased fiat if it's a fair price. Um, so just a thought to, to not only maybe have similar conversations, but just in general be talking to your fellow farmers, your fellow homesteaders, and your folks at feed stores, and all of the people involved in the production of food. Ask them what you can do to help. Um, start to coordinate strategies to, your, to feed your communities. Um, these intentionally caused food shortages are no longer in the realm of people like me, in the realm of conspiracy theorists. It's, it's very real now. You know, the president, or the, the, the man we call president of the United States, has himself said the words food shortages. So I think we can go ahead and accept that as real, and start planning accordingly, and make the solutions happen in our communities. Hopefully that's uh, some good food for thought, so to speak. In the meantime, y'all stay safe, be well, and happy homesteading.